hi guys so um it's kia and we are back with another video um today we're just going to be talking about um ways to protect our mental health um during this time and also ways that we can stay socially connected um and make sure that we're protecting ourselves while we're being socially connected so um you know protecting your mental health status is um really it's a really big thing it's really crucial um because ultimately um it could affect you know as i said in a previous video you know it can affect just you know who you are and your day-to-day -day. and so you always want to make sure that you are a hundred percent at peace um with yourself um and so one of the biggest problems that people were running into um, during this pandemic is the fact that, you know, they couldn't be social with other people, um, like physically. But um, some ways that you can stay socially connected, um, there's apps out there that you can use. Um, one is called House Party. Another one's called Frankly. Um, where you can like play games with your friends. I think you can do the same thing on House Party as well. Um, and I think that they are both on Apple and Android. Um, so, you know, just in case you have either. Um, and also Zoom with, Zooming with friends is a, is a great way. Um, you know, you could, if you, you know, need to go outside to get some air, of course, go outside, but just make sure you're being protected, social distancing you have on your mask. Um, I've even heard people uh, having picnics on opposite corners. Um, just so that they could at least see their friends, but also get to like have the joy of being around one another, um, which is something that, you know, we are kind of missing right now, right? But that's also a really big human interaction thing. So, um, you know, those are just some ways that you can um, social distance while also staying social um, and pr just protecting yourself in general. Um, Always, 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 guys, make sure you wear a mask. Always make sure you're washing your hands. Um, I know that, you know, we're about to, well, the states, certain states are about to uh, open up. Um, I want to say, like, within the next week or two. Um, but even just with them opening everything up, don't just run outside. Um, you know, because even though they're saying it's safe, it's not necessarily that safe for everyone to just because then the same problem exists, right? So um, definitely still social distance, definitely, you know, still wear your mask, um, you know, try to limit the places that you go, um, you know, have a life, but also just still be cautious, okay? Um, and, you know, social media in general um, can definitely have an effect on your mental health status. Um, because, you know, like, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now, um, you know, social media is just kind of all over the place. Um, and a lot of people have tons of opinions and, you know, you have to always protect you um, and just, you know, where you are mentally and how you feel and make sure that you're always checking in with yourself because um, that's so important to always check in with yourself no matter what. Um, and some ways that you could, you know, protect your, protect your mental health in the social media world is to just take a break sometimes, just take a break, take a step back, um, you know, just meditate, um, allowing yourself to breathe from, you know, how everyone else feels and just tune into how you feel. Not to say that social media is bad, but, um, you know, studies have shown that like too much of it can have, you know, a negative impact on your mental health status. So just to make sure that, you know, we are protecting our, our, our health, our space, our mind, our spirit, um, you know, and just our whole aura, um, just take time out for yourself and make sure that you, you know, are doing things that um, are good for you mentally. Like, um, you know, some people like to garden. Some people like to, you know, be creative. They like to paint, draw. Um, some people, you know, love working out. Like, do that. Um, 
you know, just find something that is personal to you that no one ever could take away from you and just zone in on that and make sure that, you know, you're keeping your peace even during this rough time. Um, you know, in the past week, um, you know, a lot of bad things have happened in the world and, you know, that could be really hard to cope with. Um, and so a good way to do that is, you know, to talk about it, right? Like, it's okay to talk about it. You know, it's okay to feel sad about it. It's okay to, you know, get angry about it. That's okay too. Um, you know, and to work through those emotions is also a part, or like working through those emotions rather, is also, you know, protecting your mental health and, you know, making sure that you are, you know, allowing yourself to show up for yourself, right? And, you know, nobody's going to protect you like you can. So, you know, just making sure that, you know, you have a balance between, you know, social media, yourself, the real world, your mental, all of those things, just making sure that you balance those out um, is really going to, really going to help. Um, and on top of that, like something that's really, um, something that's, you know, a really big thing right now is, especially during this pandemic, um, is, you know, relationships, right? Like some, some relationships are, are kind of rocky because we're like around each other all day long, right? Um, you know, and not knowing how to take the proper space and relationships to be your own person, um, you know, can really affect your mental health. And like having you know, good, positive, you know, um, like mental, mental status, like really affects, you know, your relationship. And if you are lacking in one, you know, it can, it can tip the scale on the other. Um, and so, you know, making sure that you find time for yourself, taking time out for yourself, doing something that you like to do that, you know, only involves you, um, it has nothing to do with anyone else it literally only involves you is of great importance um i can't stress it enough i really can't um you know building some tips that i could give for building um healthy relationships during this time is to just try not to be concerned with with such small things and like learn how to to really let things go right because it's like I know a lot of us, um, you know, hold on to things, right? Like, just hold on to things. Um, and we're, you know, angry about it for a long time. Ultimately, you know, that's affecting your energy. Like, and, you know, it, like, why hold on to something that's going to ultimately make you feel bad inside? Like, so I'm not saying to not acknowledge that things happen, but if it's something that can be, you know, like let go of, then just let go of it, you know? Because um, at the end of the day, like I know people, a lot of people say like, you know, well, I can't forgive this person. I can't forgive this person. But like you're still with that person. And ultimately what that is, is the fact that you are upset with yourself that you can't forgive yourself for still wanting to be there. And that's okay, because that's hard, right? Like, that's that's extremely hard to, you know, really forgive yourself. But you got to start inside. You got to start with forgiving yourself. And then forgiving other people comes easy. Um, and, you know, if, it's some, if they've done something that, like, really, you know, affects your peace and you're like, I can't have that in my life, then it's okay to properly remove that person from your life, right? But if it's, you know, something that you feel like, you know, is small and you can let go, learn to forgive. It, it really helps. It really helps. You know, always look at, try to look at, like, the big picture, you know, and, like, include things that, like, are going well. Like, when you're having conversation, I know a lot of people, what they do, um, and I'm guilty of it too, is they point the finger, like, at the other person. Well, like, you did, and you did, and you did, and you did. But they never stop to be like, well, what did I do? You know, how did I contribute to the problems that we're having right now? Um, so, like, you know, 
that like really affects your mental and it also really affects your relationship because you're constantly blaming you know the other person and that's not that's not healthy right and i know 2020 has so far has been you know really really rocky but you know the one thing that i you know like to stick to is just the fact of you know protecting my aura um, making sure you know I'm aligned mind body spirit and soul um, and you know also letting go of negative things and moving into positive light right and forgiveness comes so big with that because you know like mental health can contribute to so many things right like anxiety depression all of those things right and so it's like you want to make sure that at least at home you're good right and then you can navigate through the world however you see fit um and also like another way to you know just build healthy relationships is don't be afraid to express yourself you have to express yourself you have to express your feelings you know you like you cannot hold in all of that stress because that's not good for you and it affects your your overall health in general right like it affects you know your physical health like your mental emotional health like it literally affects you holding all that stress in that's why like sometimes your body hurt you know you got like shake it out let it let it go you know um and so like you have to talk it out and release those thoughts and if you're with the right person then having a conversation um you know with, is going to it's, it's going to be an easier conversation because that person's going to want to communicate with you and not like holler back and forth um you know because you have two ears for a reason and one mouth so you need to listen and not you know just continually speak because then you're not giving your partner a chance to talk right and so um you know like so many things can contribute to our mental health right and so the one thing that you know i just keep stressing is that we have to learn how to protect it at all costs right and you know protecting it at all costs means putting yourself first um and working on yourself before you can even begin to try to work on other people because ultimately that's not your job it's not it's theirs to do their own work so do your own work protect your energy and you will be good to go 100%. All right? Thanks for watching.